What's going on guys, Jason Moss here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create your Facebook pixel, all right? So you can track all that data that goes on on your website or your client site, where whatever you might be using this for, okay? So it's very, very simple, but a lot of people do get confused on it. Um, I will actually have some extra resources in the description below as well. And if you're new to the channel, uh, go ahead and consider subscribing because I have videos like this all the time about Facebook, vi uh, Facebook ads, uh, Google My Business, SEO, uh, WordPress plugins, Chrome extensions, all types of things, okay? Um, so yeah, you can subscribe below, hit that like button because I know this video will help you um, and I have a very easy way of showing you how to do it. All right, so let's jump into the video. So first off, um, you're gonna go and hopefully you have business manager set up. If you do not have business uh, Facebook business manager set up, there will be a link in the description below, okay? After you have it set up, okay, of course you're gonna be logged into it, but remember you gotta go to business.facebook.com. Okay, once you are inside, you click on your, uh, your company that's in there and wait for it to load real quick. And like I said, guys, this is very easy. Um, there will be resources below as I go along, okay? So once you are in here, you're gonna hit um, the menu at the top left, okay, this hamburger menu, and you're gonna go over to business settings. All right, once you are in the business settings, it's just a few clicks in there. Once this pops up, on the left-hand side, you're gonna scroll on down, and you're gonna be looking for data sources, okay? And depending on when you're looking at this video, some of this might look slightly different, but I'm sure you can find it. So once you hit data sources, you're gonna click on pixels, and this pixels area will open now if you're brand new you won't have anything in here um, but all that you do is you hit add okay all right and you have this pop-up window okay so this is where you create your facebook pixel now so now we can name it i'll name this like test video pixel all right and you can put in the website as well um you know to your website that you're going to be installing this on this is for example purposes, so I'll leave that blank. Hit continue. All right, and then saying your pixel isn't ready to use yet. So you can set it up right now or you don't have to, but let's set up the pixel now. All right, and I'll show you. Um, now, different sites, depending on where you're doing this, there's different ways of doing it, okay? Because uh, if you're Squarespace, WordPress, Shopify, and others, they do have partner integrations um, where you have to kind of tie things in. I find it easier to manually add the pixel to websites. Um, that's just how I always do it, maybe because I'm a little bit of a nerd. So if you click on this, manually add the code, it gives you the actual code. So then you copy it, of course, all right? Then you go over to your website and install it. Now, if you are using something like Squarespace, I think maybe even Wix does it. Um, a lot of times they just ask for the ID number, okay? Uh, they don't need the whole code, they just ask for the ID. Um, once again, though, there is a video in the description below showing how to install this pixel code because that's not what this video is about. So you'll take this, you'll copy it, and you'll go over to your website and get it installed, all right? The video is in the description below if you don't know how to install it on your website, okay? And that is it. That is how you get your uh, Facebook pixel. That's how you create a new one. Um, and when you do, when you come back to this screen, you wanna make sure this is green, okay? So once it is installed, then go ahead and visit your website. This should turn green. You might have to refresh your screen or something like that. Uh, but if you guys have problems with this or questions, leave a comment below. I look at everything, I answer everything. And if this video was helpful, smash that like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you can get uh, notified of all my future videos. 
But that's it for this one, and I'll see you in the next. Thanks, guys.